Hello YouTube, it's Halo Mama again here with another Godzilla review. I said I was gonna do this one in my uh my Heisei Godzilla review, and I finally got around to doing it. It is the Bandai Creations Mecha Godzilla. I don't know if, I don't know what year he is, I think it's nineteen sixty something. I just call him Mecha Godzilla one, or just Mecha Godzilla for short. But here he is in his box. We got the the red and black city, which looks very menacing. You get the picture of Godzilla from Final Wars on the box. You got another picture of Godzilla, the 60s Godzilla. Sorry, my phone is dying. The 60s Godzilla fighting the fighting Gigan. It says Bandai right there. <clears throat> Get my phone to get that nice clarity. There we go. I don't even need to say anything. You can clearly read that. Here's what I want to get. Now that I have the Heisei, I don't have to worry about getting a Heisei because I already have a Heisei. So I'll definitely might probably be getting this Godzilla since I don't have a burning one. And they have a King Ghidorah, but it looks really lame. I don't know why they picked King Ghidorah. Out of all the monsters they could have picked, they picked this guy. I mean, King Ghidorah, what am I saying? King Caesar, I'm, I'm sorry. I get them confused. You just have the same. King Caesar, not King Ghidorah. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. You did the numbers too. Classic Godzilla figures. No, you can't see it. No, you can't. No, they have some light glare. But here's the, the Robo guy himself and his awesomeness. Kidding. Here we have the little icons for the monsters. Let me see if I can get good quality on that. So, test my uh, video quality. Well, that's good. Right there. I see other little emblems. I don't know why I'm letting you guys read that. You guys shouldn't be able to read that. It's not it. Oh, we fell out of the box. Who okay, cares? We're done with the box anyway. The side has the same exact picture that the other side did. Let's get this out of the way. I get on to the figure himself Mecha Godzilla 1. Like you expect, he's a. Uh, he is a hard vinyl. The Bandit Creations from America are hard vinyls, while the ones from Japan are very soft, a much softer vinyl. I know this because I have a uh, Heisei Godzilla from Japan, and it's very, very soft and squishy. And this one is not squishy at all. He's hard as a rock. But that's good, because he's supposed to be metal. So it makes sense. There's a little... MG on his shoulder. I know it's supposed to be MG, but it looks like MO. Because they didn't really model the G as good as they should, but who cares. Then, anyway, on the detail. Uh, hold up. As you can see, he has all his little nuts and bolts on him. Just like my Godzilla should. All going around his side. All oh, the paint detail is amazing. They did an excellent job with paint on him. It is a uh, foot stitch. That's a nine Toho, Toho Incorporated. Bandai 09. China and all those numbers. Excuse me. I have no idea what this is. I don't remember this in the movie. This little crotch missile thing. Right, sorry if I can't hold the camera. I still have really shaky hands. I know this looks like you can open it. This little chest thing right here. But you can't. It is not openable. 
He has all his uh, correctly done spines that looked kind of weird. I mean, it even looked weird in the movie. But he's a robot, so he doesn't need to look like a Godzilla. He has all the paint detail on his face. I'm sure that my daughter is, but uh, definitely something. Anyway, yeah. So, the only thing I don't like about this figure is his weird pose. He has like his arms out, all full. Pull on out, you can't really, the only thing you can really do is try and push the vinyl into place to make him go down. Make him like in a shooting position instead of this full on out, hands out position. It's like watching the hands go back into place. It looks cool. Anyway, let's get on to articulation. Sorry about that. That's my dogs are just getting downstairs. It's kind of early in the morning where I am. For articulation, his head can rotate 360 degrees. His legs can rotate 360 degrees. My dogs are really loud. His arms rotate 360 degrees. His waist can even rotate, which makes sense because it could in a movie. His tail can't because um, there is no glue seal for it to, for there to be broken. There is no glue seal whatsoever on the tail. The tail is completely attached to the lower body section. Because wherever there would be a glue seal, there is a, a Spine on the back that's preventing anything from being broken. And the tail even has a little jet booster, which is cool. So with the articulation, you can get pretty good, uh, pretty good movement. You can get the whole arms, body back, and the head forward kind of attack thing he did in the movie, I think. Anyway, let's do some size comparison. So, I'm going to go get one of my other guys' uh, figures. Let's do it with the uh, Bandai Creations Gigan. Wait, you can't really see him. He's also the Gigan figure. If you want me to do a review on him, just request it. I'll be happy, more than happy to do a review on the Gigan. Uh, Bandai Creations Godzilla 1960s. This one's way out of scale. Because he is much bigger. He just towers over him. How about the glare? It kind of makes it awkward for the figures to show up. You can request him too, although, just be warned, his nose did get chewed off by my dogs. <sighs> Very sad. But he's still up. If you want to request him, he is available. And I already compared him to my Heisei Godzilla in the Heisei Godzilla review. And last but not least, uh, Godzilla 1954. So he kind of matches up pretty good with that one. He also matches up good with the Heisei Godzilla. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Mecha Godzilla. Just a little side note I wanted to say is um, the new Panda Creations line isn't really that good. This is one of the few good figures that's coming out from it. Mostly what they're doing is just taking the old figures they've already released 
and just re-releasing them with uh, Stranger Paint Jobs. I know they re-released in the Godzilla 1960s. This is the re-release of the Mecha Godzilla, by the way, not the original. They have the same paint scheme. They uh, re-released Godzilla 2000, so on and so forth. There isn't really been new figures. But when there is a new, when there are new, when they actually do start producing new figures, like King Caesar and Burning Godzilla, then I will be there to buy them. But until I see new figures, I ain't gonna buy any more of the band decorations. I'm gonna start actually getting more J Japanese figures. I'm planning on getting the 7 inch Japanese uh, Kiryu, because it's pretty cheap on Amazon for only $17. So I'll probably get that. And then I might get the Burning Godzilla, because it's really cheap on Kmart.com. You can get the Burning Godzilla. For only nine dollars on Kmart.com. So you guys might want to check that out if you guys really want them. But anyway, that's uh, that's it for this video. Oop. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.